Hi, I'm Joseph Couye, New Orleans born, Harlem based, artist, designer, and educator, and co director of the Black School, along with my partner, Shani Peters. <laughs> the Black School is an experimental art school teaching black POC youth and allies to become agents of change in their communities. We do this through workshops inspired by black activist histories and public projects that address local community needs. We do this through a three-pronged approach, an art school, a festival, and a design firm. The school is based on a workshop model, teaching critical thinking through art making and civic engagement. First thing we ask our students is, what do you love about your community and what do you want to change about your community? That way we sh we're sure our curriculum is based in our students' social reality. The festival is a free one day celebration where we share the student artwork with the community. It also includes art installations, workshops, music performances, vendors and food. The Black School Studio, our latest initiative, is a design firm where we, pay, we train youth in paid apprenticeships to execute real world client work. We're in our second year of partnering with the Bronx Museum where we take up residents in their media lab and we execute design work for their education department along with other clients. The intention of this program is to grow our client base so we can one day self-sustain the majority of our operational costs through earned revenue while continuing to successfully get grants for our arts education programming. So, 60 years after Brown v. Board of Education, many of the structural injustices that plague our schools then still remain today. For example, did you know that between 1996 and 2016, the amount of black students in segregated schools actually rose from 59 to 71% which is exasperated by a $23 billion gap in funding between black and white schools. We believe the mainstream education system is failing our students. In three short years, we have served almost 400 students in 100 workshops, produced three black love fests with 3,000 attendees, trained and employed 16 design apprentices, and partnered with over 50 organizations. Based on our programmatic successes, we believe we have a proven model and we're ready to grow. But to have a greater impact, we need a greater presence, which is why we want to build a schoolhouse in my hometown of New Orleans, Louisiana, so we can put down roots and expand what we're doing. The inspiration for what we do comes from the countless community-led schools throughout black history, like the freedom schools of the civil rights movement, and the social architecture initiatives like the Washington Rosenwald schools of the Reconstruction era. Booker T. Washington emerged from emancipation with the belief that education would be the building block for black folks to build better lives. And with the philanthropy of Julius Rosenwald, they were able to build nearly 5,000 schools in the Jim Crow segregated South. After World War II, my grandfather, Joseph Couillet Sr., earned his bachelor's in education from Xavier University, back when New Orleans didn't even hire black teachers. But after his passing in 89, Lincoln High, formerly known as Rosenwald High, where he taught and became principal, was renamed in his honor. It is our family legacies and how they intersect with the larger history of community-built schools, which inspires us to build a new Washington Rosenwald initiative. We propose building a 21st century schoolhouse, which functions as a community center for radical black arts education. It'll include a design studio, a gallery, residency, makerspace, library, meditation room, and urban farm. That'll bring civic, civic engagement activities to local communities in the neighborhood of Seven Ward in New Orleans. We recently took a major step by hosting workshops at Xavier University, where we asked local educator, educators and high school and college age young people 
what they're looking for in a community arts program. They overwhelmingly said they want new artistic skills and tactics for creative activism and community building. We're going to continue our research this summer in New Orleans through a series of programs and an exhibition, and then we'll share our findings with architects so they can start realizing our vision. We've secured the help of local partners, including the New Orleans Museum of Art, the New Orleans African American Museum, and Xavier University, among other community organizations and individuals. And our partners at the architecture firm, LADEC, have agreed to design the schoolhouse in collaboration with the New Orleans-based black woman architect, Juan Allen. So now I want to ask you, do you want to be a part of a radical shift in education? If the answer is yes, help us fund a prototype design for the black schoolhouse. This prototype will aid in our fundraising for the school building and our participatory design research. Come talk to us in the Skyroom if you want to help build the school of the future. Thank you. <laughs>